Hi guys, this video is brought to you by outtalk.co.uk for your post, pre-match and Sheffield Wednesday discussions with fellow Wednesdayites. Hi guys, welcome to the Sheffield Wednesday Swansea City preview. As of right now, the game is going ahead, uh, but Sheffield is currently getting battered by a lot, a lot of rain. I got a mini uh, flood situation in my front garden and the road I'm on is on a uh, blood alert, not uh, anything flooding imminent. so luckily we're all right. But because of where the ground is and because of how Peniston Road is, there, the, there could be a strong possibility the game get called off, but we don't know until the day uh, kind of thing. It'll be one of those things that will be taken into uh, advisement of what happened next. But let's talk about the game. Uh, Swansea have got a very similar record to us. It's actually identical. Uh, no, it's not identical. Uh, they've got a similar record to us. They've won one more than we have done. They've lost two and drawn one. We've drawn two. Won two and lost two. Now, that defeat against Blackburn was really, really annoying because we had chances to kill that game off and try and get three points and we just didn't uh, it'd be going to be a nightmare if that happens again but that is football and that kind of why we like football a little bit because this is what can happen football can change in a blink of an eye and that kind of thing we like but at the same time we don't want it to happen to us again because it's a cruel cruel blow but at the end of the day this game it can be very interesting Swansea are doing okay at the moment uh, then they're in an okay position at the minute, I believe. Yeah, they're in fourth place, so they're in where they want to be, up and around there, and that's where they wanted to be for a while, and they've just not got the structure right, and it seems like they're getting the structure right again at Swansea, so we'll see what happens there. Hopefully we can get three points. Uh, Bourne is looking like he's looking a lot fresher. Bannon uh, is looking a little bit better as well. There was a whole debate about Jordan Rose about what he might have to do to get into the squad and stuff like that in the press conference. And I've had a conversation with someone about uh, Rose the last night. And my thing is, at the end of the day, yes, it hasn't paid off for him. And it's a shame, really, but these things happen. It's football. Granted, I could understand what the other person was saying by saying... Uh, He's on a lot of money, he should be doing better than this. Um, why is he not doing this? Why are so many managers not gone for him? Don't know. It, it was the thing we won't know, no, because it's not in our hands. So let's see what we do at the weekend. Hopefully, we can get all three points against Swansea, but it's going to be a very tough game. And I believe this is the last game before the international break, and then we've got a lot of games coming up, and they come quick and fast then. So we've got to be on our uh, guard and be ready for this fight because if we're not, in the next couple of games, it could be cause us a lot of problems. But let's see what happens and hopefully we can get three points at home against Swansea. Don't forget to have your say at altalk.co.uk after the match.